going to be talking about the, the way we can prevent quantum hacking by using similar technology called quantum key distribution. So this is a research that's coming out of Eindhoven University of Technology. And before we get into quantum key distribution, I just want to talk about just keys in general and encryption in general and how it affects our day-to-day -day lives. So Dan, right now, if you and I are sending each other an email, that email tends to be encrypted. The idea is that you have a private key and I have a private key that allows us to open that email so that a third party that might have uh, you know nefarious things in mind cannot have access, cannot get access to it, right? But we also have this thing called a public key. And, and then the way you should think about the public key is that it's an address that's available to everyone. Currently, if you have someone's public key, technically you can crack their private key. But with the current methods of encryption that we have, with the current computing technology that we have, it would take hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years. So it's just not very practical. So what you're saying is like the public key is like the address to yes. your home. So anyone can know where you're located, but the private key is like what allows you to open up the lock to exactly. get inside the door. So, um, and with current methods, it would take hundreds of years to try to pick that lock open. So we're basically safe exactly. inside the home. That's a great way of thinking about it. So now you have quantum computing coming in, right? Quantum computing is exponentially faster than traditional computing methods. So going back to the lock picking analogy, imagine a novice like myself getting a lock picking kit from Amazon and trying to like break into a home, probably take hours and hours and hours. Quantum computing, imagine this magical little device that the second you put it up to a keyhole, boom, it's open, you're ready to go in. Now, the reason that that's, you know, kind of scary is because our entire um, modern internet infrastructure, for the most part, is involving these encryption methods, whether you're doing banking, whether you're doing, again, sending each other emails. So the idea that there's this thing that could crack all this encryption within a matter of seconds and then manipulate your data, that's super scary. Yeah, that makes me a little scared. And like going back to the house analogy, I wouldn't feel safe sitting in my home knowing that someone could just hold up a device to it and walk exactly. in at any second. Um, and, you know, I, I think quantum computing is like mostly in laboratories yep. right now. It's not really out in the open. But so we, we don't have to be quite worried about thieves getting their hands on quantum computing yet. But what you're saying is we want to like develop a stronger protocol for protecting ourselves before those hackers and evil people can get that exactly. computing power. So these researchers are thinking ahead, which is what you really want to have, especially when this emerging technology is coming out. You want to have people that are thinking about the worst case scenarios and how we can protect ourselves against it. So quantum key distribution is taking that same technology, which is quantum computing, and using it against a potential quantum hack. So the system of sending each other an email, let's take that as an example and keep running with it. With the uh, quantum key distribution incorporation, if someone were to listen in, if someone was trying to break that key and get in, there would be a disturbance level set by the key and it would increase the closer they got to breaking it. And if it reaches a certain threshold, communication would cease and you, both you and I would be notified that someone was trying to break in. So not only does it prevent the information from getting into the wrong hands, but it's also notifying us that something bad was about to happen. So it's like upgrading your house from a simple lock that can be picked open to like adding a deadbolt so that no one can like try to pick it open. And at the same time, adding a security system that can alert you when someone's perfect. trying to break it. That's a perfect analogy. Yes, that's exactly what it is. Well, and I would feel a lot safer inside a home that can't be picked open and is also letting me know uh, when that no one can break in. Exactly. So it uh, makes me excited for having quantum keys. For sure. And you know, right now, um, they're, they're still like, they have the products out there. Like technically they have already developed it, but there's no way to test it yet. Because as, as we mentioned earlier, you know, not everyone has a quantum computer in their homes, but it's good to know that they've developed those products and it's ready to be tested the second that we can. Well, and I'm excited that the security is getting there just along with the technology. I would feel unsafe, like carrying out with all my business um, on the internet, like everything in our lives are today, uh, without some level of protection that's at least, you know, can rival that of, you know, the bad players exactly. trying to hack me. So Exactly. Yeah.